I just walked the stage. I just graduated. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this for the rest of my life. I spoke up. You didn't set an alarm or anything. I thought you had to go to Ryan's too, so you missed Ryan's as well. Well, I love you. Thanks, Dad. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> A Colorado pastor says God told him to launch a crypto venture. He's now accused of pocketing $1.3 million from his followers. How many stories do we have to hear of fake pastors basically robbing their parishioners? For most people, at least in this nation, to realize that maybe going to a large corporate church is not really the best thing to do. That maybe the person standing on stage isn't here to share the word of God, but actually just steal from you. God told you to start a crypto venture. You're trying to tell me that he told you to steal $1.3 million from people who look up to you and seek you out for religious counseling. You stole from them and then place that stolen million dollars into an incredibly volatile and risky investment. God told you to do all of that. Are you serious? That's what makes torching them even more fun. They have personality. They make those amazing sounds when their bones break like twigs and just sound like them when they snap. Now that you've heard the degenerate statement, let me tell you the context behind it. Apparently, this was a comment made on a video of small animals being tortured to death. And unfortunately, I can't tell you who made this comment because on the subreddit, you can't share, you know, handles and stuff like that. And I've always found that interesting that, you know, the subreddit has that rule because the person who's making this comment, I'm certain doesn't really care about being outed for it. Because most people who enjoy watching content like this know that watching it isn't illegal. And that at the end of the day, they know that no one can stop them from doing what they're doing. They know that no one can stop them from sharing these videos and certainly no one can stop them from making statements like this and voicing their admiration of watching a small innocent creature be tortured to death. Baby in Missouri dies after mother mistakenly puts her in an oven for a nap. Wow, you know what? I have questions. I have many quandaries. I need things clarified for me, man. How in the world do you accidentally put your baby in an oven? Were you high? Were you sleepwalking? What are we doing? What are we doing? And I wish I could tell you guys that there was some sort of elaborate reason as to why she did this, that maybe it was a genuine mistake, but actually there's hardly any information on how exactly the baby ended up in the oven. All that the mother had to say is that she thought she was putting the baby down for a nap, and somehow during that process, she mistook the oven for a crib, and then the baby just burned to death inside of the oven. No more additional information, no insight into who this lady was. She just put her baby in an oven and then walked away. What the f 16 charged in LA County EBT fraud scheme that swiped funds from needy families. Seriously, we're out here stealing from people who literally have nothing. People who need help buying food and other necessities. You're taking from them? I know what they say about thieves and how they don't have honor, but come on! This is unbecoming of just a human. If you are a human, you wouldn't do this to somebody. But hey, I guess greed is a hell of a drug, because mofo's out here stealing from people who have empty pockets, man. And to be honest, what made you think you could get away with that? That is government money. Every penny, every dime, every nickel is accounted for. They know what you're spending that on, and it's not like you can just buy a television with EBT cards. You need to launder that. You need to get the cash value of those cards so that you can actually buy things other than baby formula and toilet paper. So this had to be a major operation, a major operation that was defrauding and scamming and stealing from those most vulnerable in our society. Fortnite streamer says he will shoot up a black neighborhood and a hospital after losing. Authorities are now investigating. What? The f okay. Nice. Back out. I don't want to play against them. I'm literally going to get up a black neighborhood if I keep playing against them. They're terrible. Literally, like, I f hate them so much. I actually do. Literally. I'm going to get up a high school tomorrow, too. On a Sunday. Imagine for a moment being this stupid. You lose a game online while you're streaming, and your first thought is to go on a racial tirade that includes threats of violence. Even if it's satire, that is an incredibly stupid thing to do, because now you're going to be looking at a potential criminal charge. Like, for real, bro, it doesn't matter if it wasn't true or the guy was telling jokes. If the police determined that your threats were credible and actionable, you're not going to see daylight for a long time, man. And all for what? Because you lost a video game and you wanted to be edgy online? 
man, I am tired. I am frustrated. I am finished with these people. They're all over Twitter, and for whatever reason, their accounts will never be taken down. Within moments of me establishing my new Twitter account, I found this post, and I found the subsequent account that it was attached to. And what I found was disturbing and frightening. At Here for the Zoo is not just a regular zoophile being creepy and perverted online. No, this person has a little bit of status. Taro is a project lead for atzooey.pub, which is a website and magazine dedicated to, well, the zoophile community. And this website slash digital magazine hosts all of their discussions, conversations, and thoughts about zoophilia. It's incredibly perverse. The website is just chock full of apologetics. The first article that comes up is five date ideas for humans and dogs. And I'm not joking. I am so serious. I am deadly serious. Here's a clip of the article right here right here and already the first paragraph is incredibly demented and it's all out in the open this is on the clear net man i'm not on the deep web i'm not over here on some unknown website this is page one google you can search this up right now and that's what really gets me is that these people have no fear so that's why it's my responsibility to tell the entire world what they're up to to air out their dirty laundry to make sure that everyone is aware that these sick deplorable perverse don't feel shame for what they've done to dogs, birds, deer, the list goes on and it's about time for the whole world to know who these people are and where they gather. Because it's only inevitable when these people are identified and exposed for who they are. And at that time is when all of us pick up our stones and start throwing them. The most slandered man in human history. Meanwhile, a real holocaust is going on right now. In what? What? The Jews don't want you talking about what's actually going on in Gaza. Is that really your perspective? That's really your thoughts, your take on all of this. Is that actually this man here, the Chancellor of Germany in 1945, was the most slandered man in human history? Slandered how? Slandered how? Are you trying to tell me that well over a decade's worth of evidence of his actions and the actions of a political party that he was strongly associated with just wasn't true like oh my god man what are we what are we doing at what point does someone realize that maybe they've been on the internet for way too long that maybe they just need to put down twitter that maybe they need to get some perspective from literally anywhere else on the planet read a book watch a documentary i don't know read an article take a class something just do something because this post is actively giving me tumors and i i would like it to stop this first clip shows a dude running into an Apple store and then running from table to table grabbing every phone he sees. And little does he know that every phone that he's grabbing has sophisticated tracking programming that will absolutely identify his location. It's almost like he's grabbing police beacons and throwing them right into his pocket. Hooters waitress taken into custody for allegedly dipping hot wings in her what? On and off her period to rude customers. Now look, I know how frustrating it is to be a service worker. I've heard all of the horror stories. I get it. Some people are completely awful to you when you're just trying to hand them a plate and a drink. I get it. But is it worth going to prison and catching a felony because you attacked someone or at least tricked someone into consuming your own bodily fluids? I don't know what type of crime that is, but I know it is a crime. Now, what begs the question is whether or not this would count as a sex crime. I doubt that it would, but the crime does involve genitalia. I don't know. I don't know. This is just an incredibly perverse story, and it gets weirder the longer you think about it because she specifically, you know, poisoned hot wings, and her method of poisoning it required those hot wings to linger and exist around some sensitive, you know, meat. It really makes you think if she caught some friendly fire, all while trying to, I don't know, poison someone's wings. And to be honest, it would be incredibly funny to find out if she was walking out of the kitchen burning, all because she wants to get back at a rude customer. All of this just to get back at someone who was being mean to you. This next clip shows a guy who traveled to Poland being upset that he sees Indian people there. And instead of having that thought and minding his own business, he instead decides to interview a random Indian dude who's just walking on the street, all while insulting him and telling him to leave the nation. English? 
Why are you in Poland? Why are you filming me? Because uh, I'm from America, and in America, no, 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 so in in America, there's too many of you guys here. So why are you in Poland? Why are you here? Do you think that you just can invade Poland? You have your own country. How come you don't go back to your own country? Why don't you go back to your own country? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why don't you go back to India? Are you from India? Sir, just answer. I just want to know. I can film you. It's a, it's a, no, this is my country. I'm European. And Europeans want to know why you think you have the right to invade our country. Why are, you, why are your people invading our homelands? You have India. Why are you coming to the white man's land to take off from, from, our, from our hard work? Why don't you build your own country? Why don't you build your own country? Why are you, why are you being a parasite? You think it's okay for you to invade Europe? You're being <laughs> our race. You're an invader. You're an invader. You're an invader. Go home, invader. Go home. We don't want you in Europe. We don't want you in Europe. We don't want you here. Poland for Polish only. Poland for Polish only. You're not Polish. You're not Polish. No, you're not Polish. You're not Polish. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you invading our homelands? Why are you in Europe? Why are you in Europe? You can be here, but you won't. When I want to ask you. No, no. Stop invading our country. Go home. Go home. No, you should feel uncomfortable for invading our place. No, f*** you. No, f*** you. No, f*** you. No. Why? No, you should feel ashamed. Your people are invading America. You're invading Europe. You need to go home. Pennsylvania woman charged with torturing, killing animals for YouTube audience. A southeastern Pennsylvania woman is facing multiple counts of aggravated animal cruelty after allegedly filming herself torturing and killing animals and uploading the videos to her YouTube channel. With that type of deplorable content, I doubt that she was making any money on her YouTube channel. So this leaves two realities. Either she was uploading this as some sort of archive on YouTube, she wasn't expecting anyone to see these clips, or she was just uploading it for pure entertainment value for those who find this type of content entertaining somehow somehow they find it entertaining i don't know what goes wrong in your brain that makes you feel comfortable with watching videos of random innocent creatures being killed your guess is as good as mine as to how someone can get there and to be honest i don't think all of it is trauma i think that there's a sizable amount of people on this planet who are online who were raised well and have normal lives who are just into this stuff and it's just because they're sick and i'm catching that vibe from this woman she didn't post these videos for clout she didn't do it to grow a following she didn't do it for money she just did it that's the motivation that's all just demonic behavior for the sake of being demonic Brothers who killed Ethan Liming stomped on his chest, broke his neck, and took his car, acquitted of involuntary manslaughter charges. If you want a spark for an angry mob in a potential kangaroo court, this is it. A post like this or an article like this will absolutely compel an entire community to become vigilantes in some capacity. Because how can anyone stand something like this? How can two men who gruesomely murdered another person receive lesser charges for said crime? I'll tell you how. It's called a plea deal. The court accepted a lower charge because it's just cheaper. Instead of having an entire trial that requires a lot of evidence and a lot of time and a lot of resources, no, no, no. Instead, a prosecutor and most likely a public defender encourage these men to take a lesser charge just so that they can get out of the system, just so that they can just go to prison for a little bit of time and then there you go, case closed. And the entire community and the family of this young man are poorer for it. Yes, these two monsters are in prison, but they're not going to be in prison long and they weren't found guilty of what they did which was murder and that right there is not justice texas girl 11 found and murdered under her bed was killed by migrant 18 who crossed into el paso in january and was promptly freed by authorities promptly freed
crossed into El Paso in January. It's crazy how you're just allowed to do things, man. You're allowed to enter a nation illegally, get caught, and then be released into the public unprocessed and unaccountable to no one. This girl did not have to die. She did not have to experience every terrible thing imaginable that a human could ever experience if that absolute cave troll was not here. It's crazy and disappointing that every day is a reminder, a new reminder, that the only reason why terrible things happen here in the United States, terrible things like this, is because they're allowed to happen. There's already laws on the books, guys. Policies have been issued and protections have been established, and yet we allow evil to happen. I want to reiterate, because it's serious, that she did not have to experience this. This deplorable fuck, this monster, was unleashed upon a normal and civil society. That man was looking to make someone a victim, and those in charge, people who we trust with our safety and our well-being, opened the doors for him. So the has-been hotel fandom has officially driven someone to s- <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even surprised. It always ends like this when it comes to Tumblr-ruled fan bases and shows. Those people are just spiritually rotten. Yes, everyone listening, you heard right. The Hasbin Hotel fandom can now, you know, appear on the list of fan bases that have encouraged people to kill themselves over ships and drawings. So far, that list has two names, and one of them has been Steven Universe for the past, like, seven years. Now, when this post was made, I was able to read the giant twit longer about, you know, everything that went down. And unfortunately, that tweet is gone, and I didn't save the link, so I was unable to screenshot all of the information, but I can give you the gist. Apparently, a user on a Hasbin Hotel fandom Discord killed the themselves after being encouraged to do so by everyone else in that discord because they had made a problematic ship and what that problematic ship was i'm uncertain of but whatever it was it was enough to compel everybody in that chat to pressure this person who was already mentally ill into killing themselves and unfortunately they were successful i really don't get it i really don't get what's so serious about a fandom that would compel you to encourage someone to kill themselves even if the ship that they made was egregious i'm talking peak perversion out here something heinous why was everyone's first thought to try and ruin this person's life permanently to try and jump into their brain and compel them to do the worst why not just block the person? Wouldn't that not be everyone's first thought? Like, dude, this is past crazy. This is past insane. And our final post of the day is actually something positive, something that I feel all of us can get a chuckle at and all of us can absolutely understand and maybe even want to do in the future. Couple left bikes in yard to lure thieves, beat them with bats, and posted videos on YouTube. Free my mans, free these people. They did nothing wrong. You wanna stop someone from stealing? You hit them with something hard. If you're going to behave like a cave troll, you're going to be treated like a cave troll. And to be honest, I don't understand why they would be arrested for this. I don't even understand why YouTube would take down the videos. But in all seriousness, of course, I know why the video was taken down. I know why they went to jail because we have rules and we shouldn't hit people even if they're thieves and ruining the community. We should not hit them with bats and then publicly humiliate them on YouTube. But hey, look, all I'm saying is I understand and I would absolutely do the same thing if I knew I would get away with it. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think these people should go to prison for what they did or would you do the same thing hoping that you wouldn't get caught? I would love to know what you guys think. I love the discourse in the comments. And yeah, these guys didn't do anything wrong and the thief had it coming. You shouldn't steal bikes. You shouldn't steal bikes. Otherwise, you might get beaten up by a couple. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aleris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? If you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. I know many of you guys are looking forward to the next upload today, so I will be working on that. Hopefully, I can get it out today. This video took a little bit longer than I thought, and also, it was kind of devastating, but hey, I'm here to share the worst with you. I'm here to share the worst of the world with you guys, because you want it, and I am only here to entertain. Also, I want to point out that there is a content poll for next week, so go ahead and take a look at that. I know many of you guys want r slash humans being bros, and I'm trying my best to put that file together, but unfortunately, that subreddit is very, very dead, and the posts featured on the subreddit have radically changed since the last time I've actually, you know, been on the subreddit to create a video. So, I'm thinking of trying a new video style in order to cover that topic, because so many of you guys really, really want me to cover r slash humans being bros. So, I'm going to really work hard to make that happen for you guys. And as always, I gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Zalipith, Convicted Poop Slinger, Libby131, Dawnbreaker Drake, Traffic Racer124, Fisherman, Tariq, The Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Iconic PFP, Mike, 
Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, Co Connor Purvis, S16, Infrared, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Samantha Bellhart, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dunder Nashawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one on my merch store and one on my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so I can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.